It was really the only way I knew how to tell the story. So, I mean, I think in some ways that's been a blessing. It was, you know, when I, after I did Counterculture, um, and I had the exhibition that grew from that, and I had other, um, that was the, and there was a TV series that was uh, optioned by ABC for television series. It never actually happened because Delta Berg broke her ankle on the set like right before it was supposed. To, I had the tickets to the uh, taping of the pilot. So it had been greenlit. But because I saw how you can take the material and really make it into all these different media formats, there's all these different ways to tell the story. Photography became a big thing for that book. Um, and these oral history interviews with these women. Once I, I never could just, right to rely on the written word i guess as to be the um to be the definitive uh format and even with this book overground railroad i mean when i went to abrams you know they're an art book publisher and so but i was really concerned that it would be too pretty of an art book and that you know because it the material and the subject was so important terms of race and the research that went into this, I mean, I've been, that's the other double-edged sword of when you take pictures, people think, oh, you just travel around the country for the summer and took some photographs. I was like, no, that work, I've been doing scholarly research since 2013 on this book for Overground Railroad. And I, you know, I had the fellowship with Skip Gates. I had the fellowship at the Schomburg, I had ACLS, I had NEH. I mean, there's all these different so I've, I've always been in that middle that middle ground between academia and you know and and mass um media projects so it's kind of new territory i don't recommend it honestly because it's, it's harder but i don't know how else to tell to do it myself and i know that when i'm in the room with a lot of diehard true academics who are really, you know, specialized in what they do. It's almost it's like narrow focus of their identities surrounded around, you know, but I'm a historian, I'm an Af you know, Africanist, I'm a whatever. And when I'm in the room with those people, I said, well, you know, but you can try this, this, and this. And they're like, wow, I never thought about it that way. But that's what, you know, my agent, my editor, when I thought I was gonna go to grad school to get my PhD, I got my master's. But when I couldn't make a living, early in the earlier days as an author, I thought, well, I'm just gonna go get my PhD. And they were like, no, it'll ruin, like it will suck the life out of what makes you you. <laughs> so it's like, don't do it. And I didn't understand it at the time, but now I'm like, looking back, I was like, oh, they're right. I get that, you know, being an artist and, and being a creative thinker informs everything I do. Um, so it also helps when I take scholarly you know, uh, material, I represent it in a different way just because it's the way that, you know, my mind thinks as an artist.